So I'm trying to turn this cheap £150 Harley Benton into a custom shop killer for £500 all in. And it's been a journey so far. We've had a good few episodes. Last episode we did all the hardware, including this Duesenberg with Trem. We've obviously finished, uh, refinished the guitar. I think it looks great. Now today is maybe the biggest episode yet. We're going to be looking at the pickups. Now when it comes to upgrading your own guitar, pickups may be the first thing that you look to to upgrade. There's a plethora of pickup winders out there uh, doing some really great stuff. In fact, it is, seems to be an area here in the UK where we really uh, really do well with some really great UK pickup winders. But first we need to get some benchmark tones with these stock Roswell pickups so we can compare later on in this episode, see if what the improvements are. <laughs> I'm really excited about these. These are Mojo pickups. Yes, we managed to fit some Mojo pickups into the budget. These are UK wound, as I said earlier. We've got some really great pickup winders in the UK. That's the great thing about little boutique winders, pedal builders, they come with sweets sometimes. For the next pickup, we've gone for a straight Jazzmaster. If I'm not mistaken, Mojo pickups, I believe they started out making Jazzmaster pickups. So if I was gonna go to anybody for Jazzmaster pickups, then it was gonna be Mojo. So the next pickup, was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 60 pounds. Now for the bridge pickup, we did go for something slightly different. And this is why it's really fun to do a project guitar like this is because you can really tailor it to how you want it to sound and how you play guitar. It looks like a Jazzmaster pickup, but this is in fact a vintage 50s style P90. <laughs> so it's gonna be really cool. So hopefully in the bridge position, we're gonna get some nice, you know, Les Paul Jr. type tones. Now, because I went for a slightly different style of pickup in the bridge, that was a bit more expensive, but only by Fiverr. So overall on pickups, we spent 125 pounds. So for me, like on a set of pickups, boutique hand wound pickups, that's a bargain. So let's get started with fitting these things. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't held a soldering iron for maybe three or four years. <laughs> So this could be questionable. I also have two soldering irons. They're both cheap. They're both like less than 10 pounds from Amazon. I'm sorry if anyone out there is, you know, like good at soldering, maybe don't watch this episode. So while that's heating up, let's take the pit guard off. One thing to note with this episode, at least, is that we are keeping the stock electronics, you know, the stock pots, the stock switches, and the stock jack. Did you say you have Haribo? Yeah, I've got Haribo. Do you want Haribo? Yeah. When there's Harry Bows or Sweeties about, Georgia's never too far away. Okay, so stock pickups are out. The next thing to do is to desolder them. Beautiful. So let's have a look at these new ones. Okay, that's one in. Let's screw the other one in as well while we're doing it. Okay, we're making progress, slowly but surely. Now I'm told one of the most important things to do when you are soldering is to pre-solder your tip and all the wires and connections, it makes it your life a lot easier. Let's just get some solder on the tips. At this point, I'm actually not too bothered about neatness either, just because we're gonna be doing all this again next episode when we change the switch and things like that. <sighs> Hot solder flying everywhere. <sighs> we have done, it's time to put everything back together. The pickups are soldered in. Let's try and just smudge all the wires back in there. It's a bit mix match with all the different colors of the plastics, but you know, I don't hate it. It might be wise to test that they're actually working. So. So we're not done, unfortunately. We do have some sort of ground problem. I thought I'd grounded it just as they were before, but it appears not. Yeah. Let's have a look at what's going on here. Change of plan, I think. I think I'm gonna solder the ground for the pickups to the pots like I normally would. So I'm hoping I've sorted out the grounding issue here. We have soldered the ground from the pickups to the pot instead of the switch. We'll see if that's worked. The, it's plugged in at the moment. Okay, that works. Job's a good one. Job is a good one. We do have some hum, but that is just single coils for you. And that never hurt anyone. We'll get some tones with the new pickups. I'm excited about this. This is going good now. I guess we'll give it a quick play, get some tones, and we will compare back to the tones that we got at the beginning of the episode so we can hear the differences. Okay, so exactly the same setup as before. Uh, let's hear the bridge pickup, the bridge P90. <laughs> Thank you. 
lighter sound, more mid forward sound compared to the um, the single coil that was in here before. And for me, that is such a breath of fresh air. It's not, I always know I can now rely on that pickup to get the sound that I want. I often find with those thinner sounding single coils in bridge positions, I can't rely on them to get the sounds that I want. You know, when I'm playing a bit more with, with a bit more gain or some fuzz, it doesn't always work for me. Having that a bit more roundness, a bit more mids is really, really good. I think we, in the next episode, when we start to play with the electronics and capacitors and pots and stuff, I'm hoping we can up, uh, unlock a bit more top end from that pickup. I think we can. Really cool. Now let's go to the two pickups together. <laughs> I'm really happy with that in-between sound. It's got all the quack that you'd want from a sort of in-between single coily sound. I don't think we're missing any of that sort of presence from a brighter bridge pickup either. I think the two combine together really well. That's Ace. Uh, now let's hear Neck Pickup on its own. From memory than the original pickup. The original pickup was maybe, I liked it a lot, I, th I think I liked it because it basically sounded like a strap pickup, whereas this does not. This does not sound like a strap pickup at all. For me it sounds a bit warmer, but also maybe a bit thinner in the mid-range. <laughs> Yes, it sounds to me how I think a Jazzmaster pickup should sound, whereas the original pickup sounded like a Strat pickup to me. Great combinations. I'm interested to see how they can compare to the original pickups. I'll maybe do an update when I'm editing. So Future Jackson here, editing the video. Uh, wow, I thought I'd jump in and share a few thoughts. Now I've compared the two, uh, the original pickups, the original Roswell pickups with the new Mojos. And wow, I found it really, really interesting. I stand by everything I said in the video. You know, the new Bridge P90 definitely has more mid, more aggression that is going to suit me better as a player. And also the new neck pickup definitely sounds less stratty to my ears and more how I would imagine a Jazzmaster single coil to sound. All that being said, though, I think I would struggle to argue that they sound better than the original pickups. And I'm not saying the new ones sound bad. I actually love the sound of the new pickups, and they are definitely more me. I think it's more a testament of how good the original pickups are in these guitars. I'm going to bring it back to something I said at the very top of the video. When you're upgrading your guitar, maybe the pickups are the first thing that you look to change. And maybe this video will change your mind on that. Maybe you will go and change some hardware, or maybe you'll go change the electronics. At the end of the day, all the electronics inside of the guitar, the pots, the wires, the capacitors, its job is just to get the best out of the pickups in the guitar. And so maybe if you upgraded all the electronics, you'd like the stock pickups better anyway. Uh, kind of got me thinking maybe I should have done the electronics and the pickups the other way around, but I definitely like these new pickups more for myself, for me as a player. So maybe that's the moral of the story. Don't change pickups for better tone. Change the pickups for more personalization. Change them for more customization.